Hello, I'm Dawn Buse, a board member of the American Headache Society. As you know, this year, we're having an online virtual annual scientific meeting. And one of our features this year will be our winners of our fifth annual Migraine Moment short film contest, where you can actually watch the videos and interviews with the filmmakers. First place this year is The Migraine Monster and Me by Shelley Duvall. Second place is Dear Warrior, A Note to My Younger Self by Allison Hess. And our third place winner was Carry On by Catherine McCord. So please join us at the 2020 online virtual American Headache Society annual scientific meeting to watch and celebrate our winners of our Migraine Moment short film contest. Thank you.
Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm Dr. Don Buse, a board member of the American Headache Society, and I'm here today with Shelley Duval, who is our first place winner of the fifth annual Migraine Moment Short Film Contest, which is jointly sponsored by the American Headache Society and the American Fi Migraine Foundation. Shelley has won this year's first place award for her film titled The Migraine Monster and Me. And Shelley took a few minutes today to talk to us. Welcome, Shelley. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. So I've got to see your film and our viewers probably haven't seen it yet and it's really terrific. And I'm so happy to get to hear from you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and about the film? Sure, well, I'll start with a little bit about me. So I live in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I live with my husband and my two cats and I work in healthcare, I'm a pharmacist. So it's been pretty challenging over the past couple of months because of the pandemic and everything. It's been sort of disruptive to everyone, obviously. Um, but uh, otherwise, I usually enjoy being really active, uh, lots of activities outdoors, including hiking, skiing, and you'll see that skiing features quite prominently in my film. And um, so the reason I made the film and that I'm here today is because I started suffering from migraines about 10 years ago. And uh, about three years ago, they became chronic. So it kind of became a really significant part of my life and a big challenge for me. So it sounds like some things that might have inspired your film are certainly your personal journey and what you've been going through. Mm -hmm. Are there any other things that, in particular that inspired your film? Um, well, I really, I guess, wanted to share my story, um, but give it a sort of interesting spin, because I, I feel like I wanted to portray it as not like a 100% depressing story. I wanted it to have kind of that duality of the sort of sad aspects of suffering and living with migraine, but also the fact that this is still my life and there's like positive um, parts of it that, um, that are still there and that kind of helped to pull me through. So I really wanted to add a little bit of lightness to the movie and I felt that doing it with the migraine monster and in an animated form would help to, would help to show that. Yes, so if you haven't seen the film yet, Shelly has a migraine monster who follows her around and I won't, I won't, I won't ruin any surprises. But I have to say, a lot of times I'm, I feel very angry at this migraine monster, but he's almost a little bit cute. <laughs> yes. It's hard to stay angry at him. Yeah, he, for sure. He's a little cute and he's kind of silly, but he takes great pleasure in causing problems. Definitely. So what I liked about the idea of the monsters, we had tons of ideas actually before starting this film. I didn't know what direction to go in and then suddenly we just had this idea and I was like, you know, that's great because it really represents how I feel in my everyday life. Like I'm being tethered to this dead weight and like there's this little monster that's kind of stalking me. It's just, it's perfect to represent it because mm -hmm. he's stalking and he's waiting to pounce. He's kind of all little and he's always there, but then he grows really big and scary and that's when the migraine really hits. So I felt like there's no better way really than to, to show that through animation. So I'm super grateful to a good friend of mine who is a great animator and artist, and she really contributed greatly to helping me make this happen. So it's been a really fun process, a lot of hard work, but totally worth it. The animation is beautiful, and it really brings the story to life. And so you mentioned that, that you collaborated with a friend, yeah. and that might have been who you were talking about when you said we were coming up with ideas in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Well, it was with my friend, but also with my husband. Mm -hmm. So I really that I've had a great support system. I mean, my husband has been fantastic and really without him, I don't know how I would have gone through this alone, honestly. But I still, my parents have been great. I have really good friends and even my coworkers and my boss, like I'm so lucky because I know a lot of people don't have that. So um, that's another thing that I wanted to feature in my film. You'll see there's a lot of different characters who come in like a doctor character, um, a person who's with me in the hospital who's my husband, my cat even, who's a huge source of comfort. And at the end, a lot of characters all come together into light. And those are all the people around me who kind of help make this journey a little bit um, less difficult. 
Um, so that's something also that I was happy to highlight. The ending is beautiful and it's so touching. And I love seeing your whole team or your tribe there of mm -hmm. all the people in your world who um, support, who come together. And as you mentioned, are there for you and help you um, get through life with migraine. And I thought that was a really wonderful way to end and a good reminder that, that there are whole support teams uh, mm -hmm. that are available and want to help people live as well as possible with migraine. Uh -huh. And I, I think that sort of multidisciplinary approach is so important because there's not one thing that's going to cure you. I mean, uh, like in the beginning of all this, I was like, I just have to find the right medication. I mean, I'm a pharmacist, right? So this is like in my training, but that is so false, so false. And like, as the months would go on, I realized, you know, it's, it's not about one thing. It's about finding the every single piece of the puzzle and putting it together. And I, I still haven't found every piece, but I found that, you know, looking different mix of maybe medications, uh, supplements, diets. I mean, I've tried everything really. I eat the strangest combination of things right now. Um, diets, exercise, meditation, mindfulness, a biopsychosocial approach to, to really like the psychological aspects of things really looking at the link between emotional pain and physical pain and how it's so intertwined. I mean, there's, I've learned so much, um, like through these past three years that, um, in a way, like I'm kind of not happy that I have migraines, but it's interesting. Like I'm, I can sort of be grateful that I've been gone through this journey because of it. I've learned a lot about myself too. Well, adversity, breeds brings strength it really does and i and i like to think that when we have a really challenging and traumatic experience it's, it's kind of like getting a cut and when it heals it heals into a scar it's it, you're not the same as who you were before but you may be stronger mm -hmm. and wiser and more flexible and um more grateful for definitely I think gratitude is like a huge thing for me right now, but also um, demonstrating that resilience in my movie was something I wanted to show. So I tried to do that in kind of bringing back that skiing scene in the beginning to the end where I'm still skiing, but instead of the monster kind of being a dead weight, he's now on a little sled skiing with me. So it was just meant to show that like, I may not actually be able to do a lot of the things that I used to. I definitely can't, but I can still, I can do different things. I can be flexible about my approach to things. And I think that's really what I've learned. And in terms of like resilience and strength, I think even on the days where I feel my weakest and like the most defeated, I can remember the times where I've fought back and I've, I felt strong and that kind of can help carry you through. So I, uh, I'm deaf. My life doesn't look anything like it did pre migraine at all, but I'm able to, to work part time now and I exercise differently. I do a lot more low intensity things like walking. I spend a lot more time working on my mental health, which I think is super important too. And my diet has improved. Like I, eat so much better and that has a lot of benefits in, like, aside from migraine in, in your life in general. So um, yeah, so it's, it's been interesting. <laughs> Absolutely. Those are really important messages and the idea that you've, you, you've grown during this process and you're doing a whole, as you said, multidisciplinary approach to making life adjustments to living as well as possible despite mm -hmm. having this migraine monster um, on a sled beside you. I think that's such a great image. That's a great image. So what would you like people to take home after viewing the film? Um, hmm. Well, I definitely want them to, to, I guess, see the extent of the symptoms, that migraine is not just a headache, uh, to truly understand um, how much suffering can really happen and that it's really... Uh, like a debilitating condition to be living with. 
So I hope that in the scenes where I'm sort of on the floor and you have the monster maestro who's like conducting the symphony of horrible symptoms, that it, it shows that like if I have a migraine, it usually means that I'm on the floor with my head in the toilet holding my head and it's just pounding and like my nose is dripping. It's just horrendous. I mean, <laughs> if anyone who says this is just a headache, it is false. So I hope to at least be able to educate um, and uh, also, I guess, convey really the emotional toll it takes and how drastically it can change someone's life. So it's not just a physical pain, but it's really an emotional thing because when your whole life is changed and when you live in pain constantly, it's impossible not to feel anxious and depressed with that kind of thing. And when you see like everything that you planned out in your life, like your career, your dreams, your plans, everything gets turned upside down. I mean, that's, that's quite something to have to live with. So I wanted people to be able to, to really see that and understand it. And I think I, I, so far I've achieved my goal because my, my main goal was for my people around me to see that because mm -hmm. I didn't, talk very much about migraines um, except to the people very very close to me so nobody really knew I guess what I was going through so um, when I shared the film with family and friends and co-workers they watched it and I kind of didn't really have many expectations but suddenly I got people commenting on it writing back to me saying they had no idea what I went through and hearing that was really nice to me because it meant that like suddenly when I wouldn't be able to show up to a family event or when I had to leave work early or I couldn't go into work, it meant that people would sort of really understand, maybe have more empathy and would be able to support me better. So um, if that can be done on a grander scale across America, Canada, the world, maybe it would yeah. be like fantastic to have to have more understanding. Absolutely. And we share your goal. And I think films like yours absolutely can help promote that mission to help people who don't live with migraine understand the really depth and breadth of its impact. Mm -hmm. That so, would be fantastic. What would you like the world to know about migraine? Um, well, like I was saying, I want them to know it's not just a headache because that's really a common misconception. It's really a very complex disorder and everyone experiences it differently. There's no two migraineurs who are really alike. So you might have one person who's like me and has sometimes a relatively mild headache, but the vomiting is just like something that totally disrupts their life and that will land them in the hospital in terms of dehydration. Uh, whereas you could have the next person who has a severe pounding headache and like numbness in the face, but like nothing to do with nausea or vomiting. So just two examples to show that like nobody looks alike. And also there is no one solution that's going to fit all of us. And in terms of like science, like we still don't really understand what's going on in the migraine brain. Like there's little things that are coming here and there that, that we understand now, but it's still really complex and it's kind of a black box. <laughs> so um, I would really like the world to know that we need more and more research into this. We need more and more help and support for people, not just medications, but we need like even doctors, family doctors to recognize the need for the psychoso psychosocial approach to this as well. Um, because I find it's too often you'll have a doctor that sees a patient for two minutes and gives them a prescription for a triptan and out of my office. And I guess as a pharmacist, I see this because they come to me to fill their prescription and they've received zero education about migraine from their doctor. So I'd really like to see a shift in how, in how like the medical community in general addresses this. Obviously, headache specialists are, are a little bit different in their approach, but in general, um, like medicine in general, I would like to see it uh, embrace a, a different approach to this. Well, thank you, Shelley, for sharing your film with the world and spending a few minutes with us today talking about your personal experience. I think it's so valuable and really powerful to hear your experience of someone living with migraine and learn a little bit about what has been helpful for you and what is still a struggle, of course. Mm -hmm. And knowing that migraine is, is hard, there's no way around it, 
but also knowing that there are some approaches and treatments and strategies that have been helpful. So thank you so much for sharing your time and, and sharing your experience. Do you You're have welcome. any closing message or thoughts that you'd like to say? Well, I, I wanted to thank the American Migraine Foundation for having this contest because I think it's really cool and it was an exciting opportunity and I'm really happy that my movie has so far made an impact on you guys and I hope everyone else likes it too. <laughs> thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much. Be well and enjoy watching the film. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.